We're going musky fishing. <laughs> different today we are not out here targeting bass today we're gonna to be fishing for musky so I've never fished for musky in my life I really have no idea what I'm doing out here but basically I picked up some baits and I'm gonna be throwing the Alabama rig around to give myself the best possibility of hooking into one of these giants so let me show you what I'm working with today okay so I have a couple different Alabama rigs on I have the Shane's baits blades of glory and then I have the Yum Flash Mob Jr. with a bunch of 4.8 inch Kitex. This is like my heavy, huge rig. I have a Bomber Magnum jointed. Um, this is basically just a huge jerk bait. And then I have the Matt Lures uh, Shad. So I'm gonna be throwing these around today out in open water because the little bit of research that I did, I learned that musky tend to hang out in open water away from structure in the winter, which is completely different from bass. But we'll see what happens I mean I've, they call it the fish of 10,000 casts who knows if we'll get on one at all and I really have no idea what I'm doing but hopefully we can at least get a bite today oh yeah I see you there I see you all right well I'm gonna start the day off throwing this gigantic yum flash mop junior setup so last time I was here I actually saw a gentleman trolling around in a canoe and he caught two musky right in front of me uh, the only difference is that I don't want to troll for musky. I want to be casting for him and I want to do the whole fight the whole cast and fight See what happens So I just went over a school of fish out here in the middle in 30 feet of water They were all suspended in like 15. So I'm just gonna make a big circle around that spot that I marked. Oh My god Well, ain't that a fine how to do But we're gonna try our best to get at least one bite today. We might run into some bass as well. So I'm nearly right in the middle of the lake right now. And as you can see, I'm fishing off of this bank. This is a huge main lake point here. And there's a solid drop that goes down to 30 feet. Basically what I'm doing is just casting this A-rig out right on the bottom of that break line. And I'm just gonna drag it along the bottom. I'm also gonna bring it through the middle of the water column as well for the more suspended fish that I marked. Again, guys, I have no idea what I'm doing out here. I'm just taking a shot in the dark, trying to give myself the best shot at a bite. All right, let's switch it up a little bit. I've never thrown something this big. It's basically just an oversized jerk bait. This is actually a saltwater lure as well, but I figure it might work out for the muskie. This is a bomber jointed magnum. Oh, it might help if I put my reel on. Okay, so this is a floating jerk bait. It does not dive as deeply as I wish it would for 28 feet of water. So I'm gonna switch back and throw the Alabama rig around a bit until I get to some shallower points. And then I'll throw this thing around. So I just decided that I'm going to be fishing for muskie at least once a week until I catch one. We might get lucky and get bit and catch one today but they don't call it the fish of 10,000 casts for no re Oh, I just got bit right there. Something was just on it. That's insane. Right at the boat. Damn. I think it's pretty strange that these musky, from what I've read, literally just go out and sit in open water adjacent to nothing. They don't want to be around any structure, any cover, and they just go out there and suspend, from what I've read, again. I don't know if that's 100%, but with little research that I've done and knowing really nothing about these fish, I thought it was pretty funny. Oh, that's the dude that caught the two musky in front of me last week. Same guy. That's hilarious. I'm going to have to get to talking to him. John B. left his catfish slime back here. Yum. Here, musky, 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 musky. All right, let's give the Blades of Glory a shot for a little bit. Here we go. So this is a double-tiered umbrella rig. 
get it untangled, I'll show you. So this thing has a humongous profile, as you can see. So it has four up top, five on the bottom, and then four blades on the bottom. Now this rig is one of my favorites. I have yet to catch a fish on it, but just the overall design, the quality of it, it's amazing. And I love the way it looks coming through the water, just like a big old school of shad. fish oh I got one <laughs> I don't know what this is yet oh is it a bass it's a bass still good though it's awesome all right guys so first fish of the day two hours in it's not a musky but it's a nice little two and a half pound bass I cut it on the Shane's Baits Blades of Glory I've been waiting to catch my first fish on that thing because I just know it's gonna produce a bunch of fish and yeah, it's fish number one on the Blades of Glory for you. Not exactly what we were looking for, but I'll take it. A bite's a bite. But I really want that musky. Put the Savage Gear jerkbait on. So this is a sinking jerkbait. This is something I definitely want to throw a little bit more. So I can count it down. Let's see here. One, two, Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'm going to be able to count this bait down and then slowly just reel it back to the boat. Oh, me. Okay, well that's great. I have to buy another one of those, I guess. <laughs> Oh, I just got bit. You think that was a muskie, guys? No tail. Bit it clean off. Three and a half hours in, still only had that one bass, but I just got a good bite, and I'm assuming it was a muskie because it literally bit the tail clean off of this Kitek. What I've been doing it's getting up a little bit shallower in like 18 feet of water and casting out into 30 and letting it sink to the bottom and slowly dragging it up that channel edge. And I really think that was a muskie right there. I'm not sure. Did not commit to it. But we're going to keep trying this for a little bit until it's dark at least. And hopefully we can get another bite. But that right there, I do believe, was the first bite of the day from a muskie. So goal accomplished, I guess, for getting one bite. We're all rigged up again. Let's catch a musky boys and girls so I didn't have any more of the sight flash kitex which were that all white color so what I'm gonna do is dye the tail of this center one I just like having that middle one just a little bit different gives them something to key in on a little bit more see if that makes a difference Got him. Got a fish. It's a bass. Oh, got me all excited there, buddy. Still feels good to get bit. All right, fish number two, another bass. I'm not complaining by any means. I mean, I just wish it was a muskie. But came right off of this point where I got bit by that muskie earlier. Got a couple more hours out here. Hopefully we can get on one. Probably just gonna stick around the dam and these bottom or down lake points for the rest of the day. Look at all of that bait. It is absolutely ridiculous. You see all this? It's nuts. Last cast. Come on, musky. All right, guys, I am calling it a day. I've been out here for eight hours trying to catch a musky, and I think I had the one bite. 
And other than that, I caught the two bass, which is all, all good. Made the trip a little bit better. I didn't get skunked completely. But what I would like for you to do is write in the comment section below, let me know what your favorite musky lures are. I'm looking to pick some up this week so I can get out here next week and try some different techniques. Um, give me some tips too. Anything you guys know, anything you've learned. If you're a musky professional, just write in the comment box below. Let me know what you think, what I did wrong, what I did right. And yeah, we will definitely be seeing you next week. We're gonna be out here again chasing these musky. And then this weekend, Ace and I are going down to Gaston. We're gonna be fishing for blue catfish with Zach Royce. And then we're gonna be doing some bass fishing on Sunday. So until then, we'll see you guys soon.